Hey everybody, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. I'm just going to be uh, introducing you to a new project that I just uh, kickstarted uh, on sourceforge.net. It's an open source uh, project uh, for the Deutsche Bank FX strategy. I've been attempting to get underway for the longest time. Uh, so basically uh, in this posting here on my site, quantlabs.net blog here, uh, you can find the whole, this is no different than the readme file, on the history, where I started from, the rationale of the project, why I use MATLAB and MUPAD, um, and some other things. I'm just going to try to give you a more condensed version of that in this video. So, uh, as some of you may know, I've been uh, trying to build this strategy um, from this PDF here. I do give references where you can find the PDF uh, right here, I think. Uh, but anyways, um, this is the actual strategy I'm trying to work from uh, Deutsche Bank. And uh, the funny thing is, it's uh, not a very well-performing uh, um, strategy, but the whole point of this is for just learning purposes only to code reverse engineer and code up this strategy from a typical research paper. And because it's from Deutsche Bank, it's a real world a strategy that you can use. So I've been uh, trying to reverse engineer it uh, using quantitative uh, methods. And uh, I'm gonna just show you what I've got so far. So I'm just starting this in the last few days. Um, in the PDF, uh, they're broken up into theories, theory one, two, three, four, and then there's a five. Uh, so let me just show you uh, what I've uh, got. Um, as I said, I've got the, um, uh, the description here. Um, I talk about uh, why I'm using MuPad and MATLAB. You don't need to, I'm not gonna explain that here in this video, but I'm trying to keep this uh, as transparent as possible so that people can learn, people can fork it, people can modify it, people can uh, correct it. Um, because as I said, uh, right here, there's gonna be more wrong than right. I know that, um, don't need to be criticized on that. Uh, there's all the haters and trolls that keep doing it. We know that. Um, so I'm just stressing that right now. Um, this is not going to be the correct or perfect uh, system. This is just, to re again, reverse engineer things. Also, um, I'm not really interested in things like building charting or, or trading execution functionality for this thing. This is just, again, for pure logic building it out from the algorithms or the, or the formulas, whatever you want to call them, into actual working code. Um, now, that's why I'm using MuPad and MATLAB, because it's the fastest way I can do it. Um, I'm also testing on a workflow uh, as well. Um, and I've got all the resources listed here and explained here. So I'm testing out the workflow of generating an idea, put it through MuPad, uh, generate a uh, MATLAB M function uh, from that, deploy it and implement it into Simulink, create a systematic model using things like Simulink itself as well as Stateflow, and then from there, using Stateflow Coder to deploy and co-generate that model, systematic model, into C, C++, or even HDL if I choose, things like Verilog. Okay, so that's the logic, that's the rationale. Oh, and one other thing, where do we go from there? Once we get the, that code generator for C or C++ or whatever, obviously I can generate uh, DLLs or dynamic link libraries or even libraries, stat static libraries, whatever, be it on Windows or Linux, be able to deploy them into my training components as I have explained here at my quantlabs.net academy. Woo, so there's that. So um, let's hop into the, uh, the files. Okay, so here are the files. Um, before I begin, this is the zip file uh, that I'm starting off with. We, again, we know this is completely wrong. It's incomplete, just a starting point, and I'm gonna be modifying as I go and updating the source, the source forward Forge uh, project files as well as I get to them. So no need to criticize, no need to point that out. Um, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. 
All right, so um, as I said, uh, this is the zip file. I've also posted this. Uh, you can download it here um, in the posting. And uh, yeah, so this is a, a RER file. Um, and it basically includes the PDF that I'm showcasing here. Uh, also includes um, the uh, readme file, which is basically the description of this right here, in this posting. And also I've segregated the uh, theories, as I explained in the PDF that you'll find here, 32 and all the way up to five. Um, but you might go, why is there no theory one? Well, there's no algorithm or formula explained in theory one, so that's why it's not there. Ooh, okay, so um, there's that. So when you break out the theory, um, what I have here is you have the MATLAB M file or the MATLAB code here. Uh, I've done it via the F underscore T. So let's say under theory two, that would refer to um, F underscore this guy right here, the filtration. So that's how I've done that. Um, let me uh, show you one of these files. Uh, so if I load in this guy, F underscore T, uh, 32, F underscore T, this is what it looks like from within the uh, MATLAB editor, which is a function, an M function. Here's the input, uh, and here's uh, what's generated from within uh, MuPad. Uh, let me show you the MuPad experimental notepad files. Um, so if I go under MuPad, all right, so here's the MuPad notebook. If I decide to use one of these MuPad files or notebook files, hopefully this will open within the editor. Yeah, here we go. So you'll find here, this is the MuPad language in red this is the output sometimes it will spit out the actual algorithm that's why i use mupad just to verify that that is what i'm expecting instead of looking at code and trying to work with some bizarre way of doing it but this little um, display can verify i'm on the right track um, in getting uh, that formula the way i want it and then from there i have the capability of actually generating a M function. Now I do that by running this little command from within MuPad, and uh, that's where it will generate the MATLAB M function. So for instance, as I showed you, the uh, F underscore T, this is the output uh, generated from uh, this line right here. And as you can see, I create my F underscore T here and then I'm able to generate the MATLAB M function here. Now, um, just so people know, uh, there is a reference to how to do this. There is a tutorial. There's two ways of actually doing it. Um, let me just pull up this notes file here. Um, this notes file will explain the tutorials, where to go. Um, believe it is this is a tutorial actually it might be under my other note file here hang on yeah it's explained right here um, and there is a set of uh, tutorials that you can learn that from uh, how to do that but this is the one choice I'm using is the MuPad uh, line right here to generate that M file. All right, so this is again the notebook, the notebook for MuPad, this theory two, this one right here. Okay, MuPad notebook, and out of that, I generate all my custom MATLAB M functions from this. So that's basically how all this works. Uh, a lot of this is incorrect and incomplete, um, but a lot of the work will be done in the actual MATLAB M file, and each of these will be eventually implemented and deployed into an upcoming Simulink model uh, that will be built around this entire uh, uh, PDF that will be the entire strategy on how to um, get this thing working. 
um, and hopefully uh, complete it. And once I get that uh, from within Simulink, be able to generate uh, my uh, code, uh, C++, C, or as I said, even HDL. Um, so uh, just a big note for people, I am using MATLAB uh, release R2014A. <clears throat> so that's what all the files are generated from are from that particular version of MATLAB. Again, R2014A. Hopefully this will help you out as a starting reference and give you an idea verbally and visually how I'm working from this. And hopefully I'll get something banged out sooner than later. And again, if you want to help out, please do. I'll be honored and uh, grat uh, be gratified if you could help out and fork it so I can learn, everybody else can learn as well on how to do these complicated strategies and get them actually coded up. But again, using MATLAB, Simulink, and MutePad as the fastest way that I know how to do it and the easiest way not to do it. Again, it's not about the smartest way or generating the fastest code and all this other stuff. This is just learning, learning, learning. That's what it's about. Hopefully, this will help you out, and I will talk to you later.